Good morning, Tigers, and welcome back to the world's greatest elementary school. We are so excited for another amazing week at Shadow Lake and Tigers. This week is the start of our Work Out yes. Wednesday program. Each Wednesday at your lunch recess, our amazing PTA volunteers will be out at the blacktop area by the 300 unit with the Work Out Wednesday lanyards and scan cards. You can pick up your lanyard and start walking, running, or skipping laps. Each time you pass the volunteers, you scan your card and our Workout Wednesday volunteers will track your mileage. You'll earn charms and earn miles. And when you reach big milestones, like a half marathon, which is 13.1 miles, or a full marathon, which is 26.2 miles, you'll earn larger rewards. We will also be recognizing monthly mileage leaders on Tiger TV and assemblies. I can't wait to see how many miles we can earn as a school. Don't forget to bring your Workout Wednesday permission slip signed by your parent or guardian and turn that into your teacher. It was so fun handing out trophies and medals last year to all of our students who earned the marathon and half marathon awards. I can't wait for us to be able to do that again this year. All right, Tigers, here is this week's lunch menu. Today, Monday, we're gonna be having bagel pizza. Tomorrow, Tuesday is chicken nuggets. Wednesday, we're having burrito. Thursday is mac and cheese, and then Friday is gonna be pizzas and tigers. We have lunch bunches to talk about. We'll have first, third, and fifth grade lunch bunches today. And kindergartners, second graders, and fourth graders, your lunch bunch is gonna be Wednesday. Now, if you're buying lunch, your lunch bunch pass that you have, that sticker, means that you get to go to the front of the lunch line. If you're bringing your lunch from home, you can just meet Mr. Man or Mrs. Benjamin in the lunchroom, and then once all of our lunch bunch attenders are there, they will walk you to our lunch bunch room. It's pretty awesome. Yes. All right, last week we also started our recess club. Our recess club will meet during lunch recesses by the picnic tables. The Tuesday recess club is for kindergarten second and fourth grade, and the Thursday recess club is for first, third, and fifth grades. All right, it's time to recognize more of our amazing tigers who have been earning Tiger Pod tickets and were selected in this week's drawing. Mr. Abby, start us off with our kindergartners. All right, for kindergartners, Archer, you're the winner in Mrs. Stamps' class. Connor, congratulations, you won in Mrs. Hurley's class. Daphne, you're the winner in Mrs. Belmondo's class. And then Haley, you're the winner in Mrs. K's class. All right, for first grade, our winners are Whitley and Mrs. Roberts' room. Kaysen and Mrs. Hansen's class, Juniper and Mrs. Yassine's class, Lila and Mrs. Riley's class, and Princeton and Mrs. Nelson's class. Moving on to second grade. Oliver, you're the winner in Mrs. Cortenkamp's class. Avery, you're the winner in Mrs. Kemp's room. Noelle, you won in Mrs. Shireman's room. And then Violet, you're the winner in Mrs. Meek's class. All right, now on to third grade. Our winners are Piper in Mrs. Boyle's room, Rainier in Mr. McMaster's class, Caleb in Mrs. McAllen's class, and Tyler in Mrs. Ogle's room. It's time for fourth grade. Vanessa, you're selected in Mrs. Bradley's room. Brielle, congratulations, you won in Mrs. Moffat's class. And then Alina, you won in Mrs. Eileen. Isley's room. All right, and not but not last but least, we have fifth grade. Our winners are Safe in Mr. K's room, Archer in Mrs. Litch's class, and Morgan in Mrs. McCutton's room. All right, winners, when it is convenient for your teacher, they will send you to the office to pick up your prize from the Tiger Paw Treasure Chest. All right, Mr. Abby, what's going on with story time today? You know, it was so great hearing from you last week with that story. Today, Mrs. Smith is gonna be back and she uh, is gonna be reading a story called Carmela Full of Wishes. All right, Tigers, we hope you have a fantastic week. And remember, it's, it's a, a great, great day, day to, to be a tiger. tiger. Tigers, welcome back to story time. I'm Mrs. Smith. I'm super excited to read another story today. So before we get started though, I hope you had a great week in library. We kicked off library week last week. So this week, library books are probably going to start rolling back into the library to get turned in. So just a reminder, hopefully you have a bin or a basket in your classroom for library books, and then you would have a library helper that would bring the library books down first first thing on the morning of the of your library day. And I have my return library books cart here. Remember, it's right next to my desk. 
So this is where library books get turned in. And look at how nicely these books are. They're like a nice little bookshelf. So when you are the library helper, I just ask that you would turn your library books in nice and neat on this cart. And there's three shelves. So fill those shelves. Try not to let the books all stack and fall all over the place. We'll, we'll show our respect to our library books by putting them on the return cart nice and neat. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed your library books over the week and get those books turned in this week. So today I'm going to read Carmela, Full of Wishes. And this is written by Matt De La Pena. He's an award-winning author. And I chose this book um, in um, honor of our National Hispanic Month, Heritage Month. So I know Mrs. Christensen has been reading Evelyn Del Rey, Moves Away. Um, and so this is another book um, to honor our Hispanic Heritage Month. Carmela, full of wishes. Here we go. Carmela scooted along the uneven dirt path, watching men stoop to work with their hands. Her birthday bracelets jingling and jangling. The thick greenhouse air smelled of marigolds and overturned earth and fresh manure. Carmela knew exactly what manure was, but she didn't want to think about that. Not today. Today, she awoke to candles in her pancakes and her mom sang, Happy birthday to you. Go on, Miha, make a wish. But Carmela's wish had already come had already come true. She was finally old enough to go with her big brother. Carmela followed as he cut back onto the street at Freedom Boulevard past the crowded bus stop and fenced off repair shop, past the old folks home where two hunched old women waved smiles, past the huge home improvement store where her dad used to stand around weekend mornings waiting for work. Carmela tried to make small talk with her brother as their metal cart rattled, but her brother didn't make small talk back. He didn't want her tagging along. Too bad, she told him with her glare. Just outside the laundromat, she picked a lone dandelion growing among the concrete weeds. She pulled a breath and leaned toward the fuzzy white bulb. But just before she could blow, her brother butted in. Did you even make a wish? You're supposed to make a wish. Everyone knows that. Of course I made a wish, she told him, but it was a lie. Carmela didn't know. Carmela helped her brother sort colors one-handed, helped him load the washers one item at a time while their clothes spun, her imagination turned, each new thought ushered in by a jingle of her bracelets. Her brother found the sound annoying and shot her a dirty look. Too bad, she told him with her glare. She jingled her bracelet, bracelets as she rode up to Miss Maria's vegetable stand, imagining a machine built into her bedroom wall, one that would spit out anything she could think of, but mostly candies. <laughs> She jingled her bracelets in line at the locksmith shop, imagining her mom sleeping in one of those fancy hotel beds she spent all day making for fancy guests. She jingled her bracelets at the bodega down the block from their old apartment building, imagining her dad getting his papers fixed so he could finally be home. She jingled her bracelets outside the pharmacy, eyeing the shiny new bikes in the window. Her brother stopped in his tracks. Why do you have to be so annoying? She thrummed her bracelets at him and said, it's a free country. The only time she didn't reach for her bracelets was when her brother ducked into his friend's house. Carmela slumped down on the curb, silently imagining all the things she could turn him into. 
the slimy pink tail of a rat, a cockroach scurrying away from the light, a wheelbarrow full of manure left in the sun. She stared down at the dandelion in her hand. It seemed so much more important now that she knew it was a place to put her wishes. What if she made the wrong choice? Carmela tried to hop a curb on the long trip home, but her tire caught and her handlebars twisted and she went crashing to the concrete. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. But then she saw her dandelion crushed beside the drain. She looked up at her big brother, warm tears rolling down her cheeks. He lifted up her scooter. You okay? She shook her head and pointed. My wish. He took her by the arm and led her back up the block, past the laundromat and the flea market, past the greenhouse and the smell of manure, past the overgrown park and across the train tracks. He didn't stop until they made it to an abandoned farmhouse near a cliff overlooking the sea. Close your eyes, he said. Carmela closed them. Now, make your wish, he said. Carmela listened to the ocean's hum in the distance. She listened to the squawking birds. She listened to the wind whistling past her ears. Then she opened her eyes. She saw hundreds of tiny white spores lifting into the air, floating out toward the far off surf. The sky was full of wishes. Let's go, her brother said. Don't you want to know my wish, she asked. He shook his head. If you tell, it won't come true. She looked back one last time, then took off her bracelets and followed her brother home. And that is our Carmela full of wishes. All right, tigers, I hope you guys enjoyed that story. It is sure fun to get to know people and know their backgrounds and their history. So sometimes when you're out at recess and you meet a new friend, maybe find out a little bit about them and where they come from. All right, tigers, you guys have a great week. And remember, it's a great day to be a tiger.